Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the Worms Reloaded match here between Deathwish808 and a load of crap. These two guys are veteran Worms Reloaded players, and I think the action is not going to dis disappoint in these two games. As we um, get going here, we are looking for probably a pond situation, knowing these two players... They are very much fans of the pond. Anything can happen in these ponds, and the action is uh, gen generally relatively short. The game is currently deciding who is going to go first, and then we will get underway here. And it looks like a load of crap is going to start us off here with the uh, initial moves. Let's see what he's going to go for here. He's pulled out the grenade. And we have a five second timer on the ground. Looks like he's going to go for a cross the map throw, aiming somewhere towards that uh, big pile of barrels and mines near the soda bottle. He's actually gone short and down below on top of the brolly in between the two barrels. That's going to send Deathwish's worm straight into the drink. And straight away, Deathwish is one worm down as um, we go on to Deathwish's turn now. He is. So he's got the wet worm on the left hand side of the map, looking at what's available. Um, he, he's he got a, a worm on JJ's high in the high right and then one mid right but they're surrounded by a couple of his worms as well but I think he's going to aim for these two down below the three second timer on the grenade it's backfired it's landed on the barrel and Deathwish has caused himself damage the fire from the barrel is straight in the drink and um, I think Deathwish will be quite disappointed with that one because it wasn't particularly a good shot unfortunately I think he'll be kicking himself about that one. Time for JJ's worm now. I think the only option he has here is to aim for Deathwish's um, worm with the bazooka here near the uh, the drink soda bottle here. Let's see what sort of carnage you can cause there. There's quite a lot of explosive stuff around there. He's taken a bit of damage himself, but um, that was a, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. The 73 damage there on the worm. I'm sure he'll be uh, happy to take the 18. Will Deathwish retaliate with the... I think he's going to go for that worm up top with the bazooka. He does indeed. Shoots the ground underneath. We are three on three here. Deathwish evens out the play with the bazooka shot there. And JJ now. I think he's got options. He can even go across map or try and get the grenade in behind the train. It looks like he's going for the across map. It'll be a grenade toss looking at the wind. Um, I think he's going to be aiming for the 27 guy here, maybe to take him out the game. And uh, But it's gone behind him. And that is catastrophic for JJ, who took the early ground. He is now down to Deathwish, 2-3. to three. Deathwish um, now with the high ground. As um, Again, the, the wind's not ideal, but you could make a cross-map bazooka shot with this. I think he's going to go for it here. And uh, this could actually reduce JJ to one worm. He has gone low. He slides into the drink. JJ is down to one worm here. 40 damage on the other one. Things are not looking good right now for a load of crap. I think the wise option here would be for JJ to take out Deathwish's uh, 27 worm. He's got the right win for a bazooka shot here, so... Let's see what he does. He has pulled out the bazooka. He's winding it up. Goes low. Slightly too low to make Deathwish uh, really feel the full force of that rocket. And uh, 12 damage means Deathwish is still with three worms. And this is not a good position to be in for JJ right now. But what can Deathwish do with this worm? Can he backflip his way out of this crater? Um... It's, it's not looking good. He's going to try the trainer route, but um, I think he is well and truly dead and buried in this pit. So the only option really here is going to be to try and uh, get a good grenade shot as the clock is running down here. We're halfway through the turn. Deathwish still frantically trying to get out of this pit. I don't think it's going to work, though, my friend. I think we're going to have to tee up that uh, grenade. He is finally on the trainer. Wow, I didn't think that was possible. But uh, clearly, as I said at the top of the show, these players are very experienced. Has he got enough time there? We are ticking down the last few seconds of the turn. On the one, he throws the grenade. It's in the drink, though, unfortunately. Skims across the water. Now, Deathwish has put his worm in a rather um, unsafe position. 
as JJ is now going to be uh, his turn. But, because Deathwish has the three worms, JJ doesn't necessarily need to deal with that worm straight away. He's going to have at least two more turns before uh, needing to deal with that. He's going to go, I think, for the, the guy he went for before, probably readjusting his aim slightly, going a little bit higher, and that one looks a bang on. Not quite perfect shot, 35 damage, but enough to send Deathwish's worm to a slimy grave, and we are now on a two-on-one situation here. Deathwish with the high ground now. The wind is with him. He could nicely put a rocket shot here. I don't think he's going to be have enough, though, to put JJ into the drink, but this could put JJ in a very compromised position. The 23 damage there. So uh, one direct rocket shot or grenade, and it is game over now for JJ. But what are we going to do here? I think if this was me in my situation, I'd be, and the wind is, is with me, yeah, we, we could probably work with that wind. He's going for the top shot. I would have probably gone for the right worm, though. Um, and taking him off his little perch. I think he's actually changed his mind here, and he is going to go for that shot. One nice little shot under that ledge, and I think Death Wishes Worm could be seeing a watery end. Let's see how this, uh, this shot pans out. He's changed his mind again. We are now going for the worm on the left of the screen. Our action is frozen temporarily. We've got a one-second grenade. We are back. He's upped it to two. Let's see what he can do. He floats it nicely into the air, and Deathwish's worm is in the drink. What a shot from JJ. That was completely unexpected. We are a one-on-one, -on -one, but like I said before, uh, JJ's worm is not in a good position. Deathwish has a four wind against him, so I think we're going to have to go for the grenade shot here. I don't think he has any other option. He's going for full pelt, two second, and it bounces off. Deathwish wisely... Trying to go back into that alcove so that he's not precariously perched on the edge there. But, um, yeah, this one most certainly has not panning out how we thought initially. Once again, like we've seen at previous matches this month, uh, JJ coming back from the brink. Just when Deathwish is looking like he's got it all wrapped up. In this game, thinking that is never a dead cert. We've got the four wind here, though, on the bazooka. Let's see what uh, JJ can do. That's a nice shot. He's opened up that area quite a bit, which will help him in the future if the wind's not with him. It's giving himself like a, a bit of a bigger area to aim for with a grenade. It just depends now. Deathwish, who can work with this wind, can he finish it off and put a load of crap in the drink? He can, and that is game. Deathwish takes the first game with one remaining worm. And um, that was a pretty exciting opener here tonight. I think that could have gone either way. But uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back with round number two. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for part two, a match number two in this epic battle between Deathwish808 and a load of crap. After match number one, a load of crap is going to be looking for some form of redemption here. As um, once again, the players are looking for another pond to compete in. Will they get it? As the uh, the timer ticks down, it's completely random. There we go. We have another pond map, guys. Strap yourselves in. It's going to be cross the map action. Who is going to open up proceedings here? Deathwish gets the first play tonight. And uh, looking at that bottom left, JJ has two worms that already look like they are going to be in serious trouble. Deathwish with the wind and the bazooka lines it up, rainbows it across. There we go. JJ straight away off the bat is two down. That is not a good start when uh, he's going to be looking for payback and redemption for that previous match. Worst case scenario here would have been that uh, JJ got... Uh, Stuck with the left worm, he hasn't though, he's got the right worm, so he has more options here. Once again, I think he's going to be aiming possibly to the left-hand side of the map, thinking about uh, Deathwish's next shot. It's got to come from the left, so to attack the worms on the left would be the smart play here. He's got the bazooka out, he's uh, lining up. The two win against him isn't going to pose too much of an issue, it is going to affect it slightly, but uh, he should still be able to get the shot over. Let's see how this pans out. He launches it up. It's right on the explosive barrels. And oh my god, look at that worm. He went flying all the way over to JJ's side. Um, the fire above, though, on that left-hand side could be problematic. And Deathwish, uh, 
He is, he's in a tricky situation here now. Now that he's been flung across the other side of the map, he can't really attack that worm of a load of craps. What is going to be the play here? I don't know. I think he's going to have to potentially take that worm's own life as our action is frozen temporarily. We should be back momentarily. Just give it a second. Uh, we've got the bazook. He has committed the suicide there, blown them both into the pond. We are three on one. JJ, we're down to one worm yet again. It's almost like a repeat of the previous map. But um, see what he can do with this final worm. And the fire damage ends a load of crap's turn. That's not what he's going to want to have done. But uh, the fire is out, so next time around he can uh, do something else. But... Um, once again, a load of crap finding himself in a lot of trouble in this map. Deathwish with the grenade. I think he's probably going to look to just float a grenade down there and maybe just try and inflict a bit of damage on top of that parasol. Possibly, although his angle here is um, suggesting otherwise. Let's see what he's going to do. He's uh, still got plenty of time on the clock. I think he's going to make it come down. He rolls down, but unfortunately it has rolled off the top of the parasol and into the drink. But that now allows uh, a load of crap here to make a play and try and get his worm out of there into a bit of a better attacking situation. Plenty of room to backflip. He's going to go the other side of uh, Deathwish's worm here. What is going to be the play? Possibly just floating a grenade on the back of him here, possibly, and then running back again. The five-second timer is set. It's whether or not where this worm is going to end up after this shot. And it's high enough, clears the brolly, and he is in the drink. JJ with the lifeline now. We are two on one. And uh, from this position, JJ's worm is a pretty uh, protected, though. Deathwish with a beautiful cross map throw. We may get a little bit of splatter damage there. We do indeed. But um, certainly opened up the alcove a bit. And if Deathwish can continue that terraforming. Uh, a load of craps uh, sheltering there is uh, not going to last very long at all. The problem is now, can a load of crap make his way onto that brolly? I don't think he can. I think the angle of that side of that brolly is going to be too short. So he is, he is well and truly stuck down here. Looking ahead here, if JJ can dispatch that worm of Deathwish on the right-hand side of the map, that's going to tee up for a quite a fan fantastic and interesting finale. Uh, with the two worms on the left-hand side of the map. He goes up with the bazooka shot. The wind is with him. He gets the mine. Can we get the extra damage from the mine? After Courage is frozen. No! What is going on? The coverage is frozen. We don't know what's going on. It looks like the mine went off, but um, 35 damage has really brought Deathwish's worm all the way down, almost to the waterline here. So um, I think that worm is definitely in a very dangerous position here. And depending on what sort of wind uh, a load of crap gets next. What an interesting shot from Deathwish though. Sorry to break away there. He uses the top of the map there to ping the grenade back into a load of crap's little alcove there. And he lowers a load of crap. That could be interesting and an important move there for Deathwish 808. It could prevent a load of crap from scaling that left-hand side of the wall there. And it could restrict his angles a little bit more. But no, he can get up. So as I was saying, if we can get a good shot here, possibly with a grenade, but I think he's, he's yeah, he's gone for the grenade. That's what I thought. Probably going to go in from behind here. And if he can get the shot, just perch that grenade just behind Deathwish's worm here. We are going to be on that 1v1 scenario. Uh, unfortunately, the bounce off the side of the wall there, he overcooked it. And that's going to allow Deathwish maybe to reposition his worm, maybe to a bit of a safer position. Although he is going towards the edge. I think we're going to see a bazooka shot here. Trying just to float it in under, above that parasol. Um, and into that crevice where a load of crap is on. Actually, we've gone for the grenade. Almost gets it to stick. But unfortunately, just a little bit too much velocity makes it bounce off. And uh, a load of crap's worm lives to fight another day.
I think we're going to see another grenade shot here from a load of crab. Unfortunately, the wind is not with him in this shot. It is completely against him as he lines up the five-second timer on the grenade, catches the ceiling geometry there, and uh, unfortunately, that is just going to end up in the drink. Deathwish potentially going to go for the same shot again. He's bouncing it off the top. Uh, this time, unfortunately, though, because that extra geometry isn't there on the left, it will just... Um, fall straight down to the bottom, but interestingly, one shot on anywhere in the vicinity of a load of crap here will just drop him straight into that drink pit that uh, Deathwish has just created below him. So, uh, a load of crap definitely and not out of the woods just yet. He's also adjusted his angle here. We are still going with the five second timer on the grenade. Uh, not sure what's happening right now as our coverage has frozen once again. It looks like that was a water shot. Nobody is damaged and the worm is shrugging his shoulders. So we're as you are at the moment with 10.40 left on the clock. I don't think we're going to go into the full amount of time. There is a grenade shot from, sorry, a bazooka shot from a death wish. Unfortunately, there wasn't. It was a little bit too high and wasn't enough just to push a load of crap down into that water pit. But it does open up a little bit of a safety for a load of crap. He should now be able to get that little bit higher here and um, on a bit more sturdy ground, which may save him in the future. I think he's going to keep his worm where he is, though, interestingly. He's not going to go for the safety. Throws the four-second grenade. It bounces. It's right on Deathwish. That is going to spell the end for the worm. We are down to one versus one. Deathwish has the higher ground, and um, I think JJ, or sorry, a load of crap, is going to have to come up here with something spectacular. I think the only way here is going to be to attack from the bottom and try to create a bit of a, a bridge to the left here. Deathwish obviously has already had a couple of shots playing around with this like Plinko bang shot stuff. That was a little bit too much. It, it bounced too much and um, JJ is safe at this one. But it'll be interesting what it is. If this was me, I'd definitely go and try and open up that left hand side. Um, obviously, it's always a precarious position, though, when you're opening up a new area. You don't want to do too much because um, you're potentially opening up a way for your opponent then to take you out on the next turn. Um, instead, though, it looks like what he's going to try and do is take out the right side of this brolly here. And um, that sh will affect Deathwish's uh, Plinko plans. He does take the backflip on the left there to get himself up to a bit more safety. But um, this is going to be an interesting oh, finale. I would, call, If I have to call it, I would say Deathwish is going to take this one. But anything can happen in the game of Worms. We're, uh, we missed the Plinko shot, unfortunately. Uh, looks like Deathwish got the one damage off on the Worm there. But um, I do apologize about the freezing of the gameplay. Especially in the middle of these... Uh, Shots, it's getting quite interesting. JJ, I think, again, is going to go for taking a bit out of that parasol. And that has sent Deathwish to the left, onto the mine, flips him into the air. Where is he going to end up when the coverage returns? Oh, my goodness, he is all the way down on 17 health. JJ, all of a sudden, has the high ground now in terms of health. What will Deathwish do from here? The mine certainly bringing uh, JJ back into play. Deathwish is opening up the bottom area. And oh my goodness, this is going to be interesting. Deathwish have that uh, pixels and debris on the right. I'm wondering if he's thinking he can maybe get a grenade to bounce off there and just down to JJ. All JJ will need is a little tap from some form of explosion. And he will end up in the drink and give Deathwish the big W here. But... Um, Let's see what uh, JJ is going to do. He has got the Zooka out. The wind is blowing that way. Oh my goodness. He took 14 damage. Deathwish with a 2 health. Oh my goodness. This is coming down to something special. 52 on 2 here. What will Deathwish do? I think he has got to play the bank shot. I think that's going to be his only play here, I think. Can all of those hours of Plinko and Price's White pay off for this guy? Again, our footage is frozen. Two-second timer. And, oh, my, he got it. Oh, my goodness. What a finale there. It bounced off. We got the initial damage. And it looked like, initially, a load of crap was going to be safe there. But um, 
it turns out it was not to be the case. Deathwish 808 with the bank shot taking JJ all the way down to the water. And Deathwish takes the title 2-0 here tonight. What a couple of fantastic games of worms. And uh, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be back with more Worms action real soon. But until next time, see ya.